What is up guys, it's the Scripting Legend here, and today I am back doing my How to Make a Dungeon Game series, and um, today I will be showing you how to make your own boss with um, a little bit of, with one power up, and um, so let's get started. So I just went into my base plate where we just have this GUI that teleports us to the game. Um. So right now I'm just going to go over to the view tab, the game explorer, and go to our places. If you don't have this, then that means you didn't watch video number one. Um, if you don't have this, uh, the next place, then that means you didn't watch video number one, which is very important. Um, so I'll put the, the, um, the link to that in the top right corner, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. So we're just going to double click on the other place, not the one with the uh, spawn location symbol in front of the name. Um, the one that should be your username's place and then some random number, um, unless you changed the name in the last video. Okay, so let's wait for it to load. Alright, so remember we have our um, little dungeon chamber here. Um, then we have... wait. So we start here, right? And then we go into here and we can defeat some basic creatures of the sea. So now what we can do is, um, well, we didn't group anything at all. I remember we were just doing this really quickly. We can just insert a part in here, right? Um, my tools are being really um, glitched right now. I can equip every tool at the same time for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Was that happening over here too? If I insert a part? No, I'm able to move it around. Alright, so, um, let's see. That's really weird. Um, let's just delete this part, I guess. Let's, um, just close this out. I'll just discard the changes because we didn't do anything. And let's try to launch this one more time. Just, just double click on the place. Wait for it to load us in once again. Okay, so now we're in here. And... We still, for some reason, cannot click any parts. And we can, for some reason, just equip every tool at the same time. This is not something we should do. So, um, see if I'll be able to. Alright, so I'm gonna have to use, um, Building Tools by F3X so that I can actually grab stuff. A link to that plugin will be in the description. It's very helpful for when problems like this come up. Um, so we'll just uh, go to this plus something, um, and we'll just insert a new part. Yeah, we'll just insert a normal part. Just click on the screen, and it should just insert it for you. Alright, so we're going to make it here, and now we'll use our scale tool, which is the one right next to the other tool. You can also use, um, it also has like keyboard shortcuts that it says right above it. See, I can go to Z by just clicking. I mean, I can go to the move tool by clicking Z and the, the scale tool by clicking X. So now we can just scale this out. Um, I'm not going to really worry about building any walls or anything right now. Um, it's just, um, let's just recolor this. So let's just, um. Um, I'm not very good with this plugin, sorry guys. Uh, this will, uh, we'll just make it like a dark blue, then go to our material, I think we use like a, no, it wasn't cobblestone, um, I think we use like slate, um, or slate, slate, maybe we did, but, um, this color is definitely not right. Alright. Um, so yeah, the material's not right either, but that doesn't really matter too much, um, so yeah, we're just gonna move on from that, because I really don't know what the material is. Oh, the material is granite. Here, we'll change it to granite. Uh, granite. Alright, and the 
color for this is um navy blue and the color of this is not navy blue whoa 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 we recolored it by accident um oh okay um let's just undo that and um let's just pick a different color let's undo that let's click on our part once again the one that we want to make changes to all right we'll just leave it here before we mess anything else up so this is looking pretty fine um so yeah uh let's just quickly um just um go to our um our move tool i guess we'll just click on one of the basic creatures of the sea control d to duplicate it we'll drag him over here lift him up a bit and then we're gonna hit x to go to our resize tool whoa building tools by f3x um something very weird happens when you scale it up because when you scale up when you scale up models like with the regular roblox studios thing um this would never happen it scales on all axes okay so that's very weird i wish i can just like use the regular tools well i can't so um well guys i guess we're just gonna have to have um one of these as our really just a normal sized boss yeah let's just try this one more time directions pull yeah see that's let's just um re undo that just quickly undo it okay um so yeah we're just gonna have to have a normal size um so yeah that's that that's the only thing we can do i know it sucks doesn't really look like a boss anymore but um also guys let me know um if you know why this problem is happening like because i really don't know i really really don't know i can't even open the toolbox box game explorer like um really i'm not sure what to do about this guess we're just gonna have to go into this base plate and we can um oh i have an idea guys let's go in here let's just select the random basic creature of the sea just in the explorer because we can't select it any other way and we're just gonna hit Control c to copy it then we're going to hit Control v in here to paste it in here where we can edit this now um all right so see with roblox regular roblox scaling we'll just go like this um so yeah that's very cool um we can rename this to water water boss okay and now in replicate the storage we're going to insert a folder called um uh called boss boss powers we're gonna drag all this stuff into the um into the other world soon once we're done with this but um yeah so now inside of boss powers what we're gonna do is actually first get a model from the toolbox we'll just um, search for a wave Right, this wave looks pretty good and it's by roblox which is the best thing because now there's going to be no viruses here so that's epic all right so um all right so that's good that we can do that all right so um this wave is pretty huge right now so let's just scale it down to be like less huge here let's just set the height to like something 
taller because we don't want to make it too wide. Um, I'm not really sure why it's making me scale this like that. Usually, um, un actually, no, this is a union, so yeah, that would explain everything. Um, yeah, so let's just delete this one, get a different wave. Wave. Okay. Alright, so this wave sucks, but, um, just delete all of these things that are probably gonna be viruses. Alright, um, so as you can see, we have this horrible wave. No offense to the person who made this wave, but, um, yeah, we're not gonna use it. It's just, um, we need to find, like, a mesh. So let's search for meshes in wave. Alright, this is good, perfect. Um, just definitely gonna have to scale that down. We can just scale it down to a flat piece of water. That's kind of funny. Alright, but now if we scale it up, it'll just become a wave again. Alright, so let's just make this a lot smaller. Alright, so this is about a good size that we'll want it to be. So, um, now inside of it, we're going to want to insert a script. We can call this script move wave. Okay, and, um, so yeah, that is very good. Um, oh yeah, actually, now, since, um, we can just remove this script real quick, since we have our mesh wave to the size that we want it, we're just gonna wanna, um, go into our model tab and just union it. Oh, I forgot we can't union, um, mesh parts. Oh, we're just gonna have to work with it like this, um, so, yeah, that stinks, but, um, gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so actually that doesn't really matter. We're just gonna insert a script into the wave. And what this script is gonna do is, um, move the wave. So we can rename this script to move wave. And we're going to do local wave is equal to script.parent. And while wait while wait do remember use a while wait not a while true because um you honestly guys i recommend you using a while wait instead of while true all the time so that um the script doesn't crash because i don't know even empty wait just makes everything better all right so inside of it we're going to add an if statement we're going to do if script dot parent dot parent is equal to game dot workspace then um wave wave dot c frame is equal to wave dot c frame and now we're gonna add a vector three to it so plus vector um three dot new so we're gonna add a new vector three to it so that we're just gonna move it in a diff in a direction. So for this one, we're gonna do one comma zero comma zero. Um. So yeah, that's what we want to do for this one. This will be the only one that we do this exact numbering for it. But um, yeah. So what this does, it makes sure that it the wave only moves when um it's in the workspace. Uh, so because we're gonna keep it in the boss powers and we're gonna clone it every couple seconds into the workspace and then we're gonna destroy it. So basically now what we're gonna do, we're gonna insert another script into our wave. Okay, um, we'll rename this to damage script. Okay, and now we are going to do um, script.parent.touch colon connect function hit. We're gonna do if game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent hit dot parent then hit dot hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health is equal to hit dot parent 
dot humanoid humanoid dot health minus one no um uh, yeah we'll make the wave do like twenty five um and then we'll do then we'll drop a line and we'll do script dot disabled is equal to true um we'll then we'll um wait about um two seconds and then we'll script dot disabled is equal to false false so that it doesn't damage the player twenty five times a lot like because um it's basically our debounce but it's an easier way of doing a debounce and it's more effective all right so we're gonna um, we're just gonna run this real quick all right so let's see how this looks all right so it's going the wrong direction so we're gonna have to go into the move wave script and we'll just add a negative one to this i'm pretty sure now we're gonna hit run and um if not this then um we're gonna just do something else real quick all right yeah good it goes in the direction we want it to go okay um we should probably anchor our wave and turn cache shadow off also make it can collide to false so that we we won't collide to with it we're gonna rename this one to wave one and we're gonna duplicate it four times i mean three times because so that we end up with four waves we'll rename one to wave two one to wave three and you guessed it the last one to wave four all right so now um we're just gonna drag wave two over here um, we're just gonna rotate it so that it's facing that way. Now what we're gonna do is go into the move wave script of wave two and just keep this as a positive two instead of a neg I mean a positive one instead of a negative one. Now we're done with those two waves. Now if we go to wave three, um, we're gonna want to move it over here and then um we'll just rotate it that way that's like that okay and now inside of our um, move wave script um we're going to change this first one to a zero and this last one to a one and um now we're just going to run this just to make sure that that wave is moving in the right direction we don't have to make it a negative one all right perfect so every wave is moving in the right direction so now um what we're gonna do is go into wave four and into their move script and we're gonna change this first negative one to a zero and the last zero to a negative one now what we're gonna do is um click on wave four drag it over here drag it out here we're gonna rotate it okay and move it over here so now if we play this if we run it I'm sorry. Um, they they should all move. All right, so perfect. They're all moving in um, different directions, which is what we want. So now what we're gonna do is um, we don't want them to just be like this all the time. So we're just gonna select all of them and put them into the boss powers folder that we added into replicate storage earlier. Now inside of the water boss, we're just going to insert a script. Um, we're going to rename this to spawn waves. And we're going to do um, a while wait do um, local wave one is equal to game dot replicated storage dot wait dot boss powers dot wave one then we'll just copy this copy it paste it but change this to wave two and this to wave two now we'll copy both of them drop a line paste it change this last one to four the one before to three then this one to three as well and this one to four all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to do wave one colon clone dot parent 
is equal to game dot workspace. Then we'll do wave two uh, colon clone dot parent is equal to game dot workspace. And we'll just copy these two and um, drop a, and paste them in here. Now we'll just change the number. All right, and then we're going to drop two lines once again. And we're going to do um, wave one, um, wave one dot c frame is equal to um, script dot parent dot um, dot humanoid root part dot c frame, and then we'll do wave wave two dot c frame is equal to script dot parent dot humanoid root part dot c frame then we can just copy these two okay and um paste them in and uh, we'll just change the numbering once again and um instead of it just being an empty wait for the while wait do um we're gonna change it to like a uh, 15 second wait or actually yeah 15 seconds and um now what we're gonna do is um we're gonna drop two lines after the wave four dot c frame and just script up here and dot report dot c frame and drop two lines from there and then we're going to do um hmm, how long are we gonna have to wait for last here let's actually change this to a wait of 10 in the while wait do wait then after this we're gonna after we drop the two lines, we're going to add a wait of uh, five seconds. And then we're going to um, do wave, wave one, colon destroy. Then just copy it, paste it, and then just change the numbering. Copy them too and paste them and change the numbering. All right, so this should be how your script looks. So um, now if we hit play, not run, this time we're going to do play because we want to see it in action, like while we played the game. Okay, so um, yeah, this, um, something happened to our boss and um, I think I know why, but hold on, let me just change this. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just whatever. All right. So um, gonna just go into the damage script. All right. Whoops. Um, what I actually want to do is go into the water boss's humanoid. Um, set the max health to like. 5,000 in the health to 5,000 as well. And now I'm just going to go over here and just hit play here. Okay. So our water boss is just dying for some reason. He spawned the waves, that's some um, good sign. But let's go into our spawn wave script and actually copy this, um, cut this C-frame part out and paste it in before we clone the waves. All right, and um, um, Okay, let's just delete this count towards door open. Um, also, yeah, we can delete the overhead UI and the display health thing. Um, we can also delete this health GUI inside of it. And if we hit play here, it will hopefully not just fall apart. Alright, so good. Um, he shoots the waves and they damage me. I'm thinking that um, 
um, we have to like weld him together. So I'm gonna just use this. I'm gonna just try that. All right, so I just use this weld plugin. I'll link it in the description if this works. Um, if not, then just no need for it. I really don't use this plugin often. All right, look at that. Um, it worked, so I will link it in the description. So yeah, he was just falling apart. He wasn't dying. Okay. Um. All right, so wave one is not a valid member of folder of storage that box powers. Um. We cloned them though. Okay, okay, so now we have to um, make local, um, all right, so actually, no, instead of that, we're gonna, uh, we don't even need this, this colon clone part, but we will keep the dot parent, um, so just, it should look like this right now, and then we're just gonna add colon clone after these lines. Because the reason we were getting that error is um it's because we destroyed the actual um the actual waves that were inside of the folder and not the ones that were inside of the workspace and that's another reason why you didn't see those waves disappear and as you can see I get damage from the wave hitting me um not all the waves went in the like looked right but um. It's okay. Alright, so you can see he just shoots the waves in all directions. We will we'll add an animation for that in later videos. Um, He'll shoot the waves again in any second. Oh yeah, also they disappeared as you can see. Alright, so we have our powers. They're not the nicest, but they do work. So um, now what we're going to do is we can... Copy our boss powers folder and our water boss. We can cut, cut it. We can go into this place. We can delete this basic creature of the sea. Then we can just hit Control V and paste to paste this in. Um, then we'll just drag this boss powers folder into replicate storage. Um, the water boss. We'll just move him away. I forgot. We can't. We can't move stuff for some reason. So what I'm gonna have to do is go over to building tools by F3X and use the move tool. Just bring him over here. Whoops, did not mean to take that door out of place. Just gonna move this guy down. Our boss here. Let's just bring him up a little. Now just bring him back over here. Um, now what we're actually going to do is we're going to have to um, go into our spawn wave script. And we're going to have to add an if statement. We're going to have to do um, if, if game.replicateStorage.opendoorcounts. Uh, um, first door dot value is um equal to forgot what it has to be equal to to I mean in order all right I think it's twelve right is equal to twelve uh then then we're just gonna add the end in over here just just indent everything over here um and that should be that part now what we're gonna quickly do is add some GUIs in so we can take our building tools off. Um, first actually let's just hit play to make sure all of this stuff works. Um, okay. All right, so we start up here, let me just, um. Alright, so I can select stuff in here. Let me just make this can collide. And then... Alright, so um, now let's just go back in the game and hit start.
our 3, 2, 1 timer, this door should disappear. And um, we now have these, our creatures of the sea here. We can kill them. And now our door has opened, and now he can finally do his favorite thing and just shoot waves. Because he's stupid. Alright. Um, <laughs> Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the starter GUI. We're just going to insert a screen GUI. Um, we can rename it to Boss Health. Um, we can insert a frame in here. And then with the frame. Are you kidding me? Can we not even edit frames? With the frame. Let me just... Uh, Sort of like a text label and stuff. I actually cannot move anything, not even a frame. Um, so yeah, that is like the dumbest thing. So now we're just gonna have to guess and just put like something like 0 0.4, comma 0, comma 0. 0.3, comma 0. Actually, we'll do comma 0. 0.2, comma 0. All right. And then we're going to put the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. And then the anchor and point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.1. Um, actually, we'll change that to 0 0.01 for both anchor point and position. Alright, so we'll, um, we'll rename this to to oof health to oof health all right and um inside of it we're gonna insert another frame actually this we're gonna insert a text label and we're just gonna make the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero um supposed to be all right everything is actually all messed up Oh wait, wrong thing. So we had the size to 0 0.4 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. My bad, I thought that I was on the text label because usually that's how it is, but today everything is messed up. Um, so we're going to change the size of the text label to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. So that should fill up the whole thing. We're going to make the background color to a lime green. We're going to rename it to health. To health okay and um we're going to put text scale to true font to source of sans bold um text to 5000 slash 5000 um text color to white text stroke transparency to zero and inside of it we're going to insert a local script and we're going to do um local local oh gosh we're gonna do local um local boss boss is equal to game dot workspace dot water boss water boss water boss and then we're going to do local um humanoid is equal to boss dot um actually not that boss colon wait for child uh humanoid then we're going to do humanoid colon get property changed signal um health colon connect function all right so now we're going to um now what we're going to do is Make it so that we update our health. So we're going to do script dot parent dot text is equal to um, humanoid is equal to humanoid dot dot um, speech marks slash five thousand. Then we're going to do um, script dot not and script dot parent dot size is equal to udim two dot new um humanoid uh humanoid slash 100 actually no slash 5000 um comma zero comma one comma zero 
All right, and um, now that we have that, we're just gonna X that out. Um, yeah, that should be that part. Um, now we're just gonna drag this both health into replicate storage, and um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do with that. And um, oh yeah, inside this door, I'm pretty sure it is. So first door, um, we have a script. Alright, yeah, so there, this is what it is. Um, before we destroy it, um, we're just going, actually, yeah, before we destroy this, we're going, the door, we're going to do, um, game, the replicated storage, dot, um, game, the replicated storage, dot, boss health, colon, clone, I'm going to actually make this a variable, so we'll do local local clone is equal to. All right, so now what we're gonna have to do is make it so that we can't just put it straight to the starter GUI because then it won't update. We're gonna have to put it into the players player GUI. So we're going to have to do um. What are we gonna have to do? We're going to have to do. Um, all right, so we're going to have to do, hmm, no, actually, let's forget this, we'll, um, put this into the next video, uh, because I know we're, like, really high end, like, we're really doing, like, it's a long video, so we're just going to save that for next video. First, we're just going to make sure that this works before we end the video. Alright, so we we'll hit test um, once again for some reason. Um, we're not spawning inside, but um, let's just do that. And um, now what we can do is just get back to our game, hit start. Alright, so we can just kill everybody. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go in here, and uh, we're going to get hit by a tsunami because we want to. We're going to go up to our boss, and we are going to uh, start killing it. Okay, so we have something... What? Okay, well, um, let's go back to the client. Whoops, let's just go down here. Um... We must have an error somewhere that's not like something like stupid. Alright, so player GI dot boss health dot oof health dot health dot local script dot line five. Health dot book. Oh, my bad guys. That's like totally my fault. We have to go into the boss health, into the local script, and that's in health. We just put humanoid, but we meant to do humanoid.health. Not health. Health. Dot health. Alright, so look, this is what your script should look like. This is what your script should look like. Now, if we play this, everything will work. I guarantee you it. One of those, it's one of those things where, just forget, going first person, boys. Spinner, they're just having a nice conversation right now. These guys, um, the, something happened and they got mad at each other. But we don't know what. Yeah, I love getting hit by water, giant tsunami waves. Alright, see now, um, our health bar is going down, um, but as you can see, it's white in the back, so, um, my fault for that, let's just hit stop real quick, um, we're just gonna click on oof health, and we're just gonna change the background color to 255,0,0, and now, um, let's just do a play here, because we don't feel like going through the whole thing. Again, I just want to show you that everything is working now.
Alright, so here we are. You cannot shoot waves at us anymore. But as you can see, um, we have our, he has his red health now. Alright, so, um, that is very epic. Alright, guys, um, so now what's all that's left to do is save to Roblox and publish to Roblox. Now we can X out of this. Now we can also um, save this and publish this. And now we can go test it on Roblox just to make sure that everything works. But we can X out of studios now because everything will work. We'll just search for Roblox and we're going to just um um just wait for it to load and just hit the create go to the create tab. So now what we're gonna do is just find our game in this big list of stuff. Alright, um no that's not that. Alright, here we go. Um, created places, uh, places, just click on that, and we'll just click here, wait for it to load us in, and we will, um, see that everything works, and we'll be well on our way to making our dungeon game. By the way, guys, I am aware that somebody asked me to make armor. I will do that in a future video, but this is very important to the boss. Okay, so it's loading us in. We spawn here like we should have in studios, but everything was messed up. So now if we click start, we have our countdown. Um, now everybody's in a big fight except for these two who are just chill, having a conversation. Maybe getting a little too romantic with the conversation. And then um, just kill these guys who are um, the winner of their fight. And just, alright, I actually thought I was going to dodge that one that time. Now if we go to our water boss, everything is working fine. Alright guys, um, just want to let you know that next video I will be um, making it so that when you kill the boss, he does drop items. Also guys, um, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. We um, almost got a thousand views on one of our videos and um, we only have 88 subscribers, um, which is, I mean, I'm still happy about that, but um, if you don't know, 90% um, of you guys who've been watching these last like 28 days, this last month, are not subscribed to the channel. So please do that. It really helps get me more content out there and um especially videos like these i will be focusing more on our series now like epic mini games and um this also superpower training simulator 